the pressure's mounting up on Darren Moore. There, there can't be any doubt about that. I can sit here all night. I can go through every single game and I can talk about the positive points. Delibichero starting to show some of that promise. He's trying to you know fulfil some of that potential. I can sit here and talk about Liam Palmer's versatility and what a great servant he's been for Wednesday and, and how useful he's proven to be this season. Uh, and he's, he's given performances more consistent than some supposed stars of the team. I can sit here and break it down and look for the positives and everything. But the truth is this. Wednesday are lacking a cutting edge going forward. Wednesday are conceding a lot of poor goals, both in open play and from set pieces. With 14 games into the season, we're still lacking a proper identity where you can identify it and look at it and go, yeah, that's a Sheffield Wednesday side. Or yes, that's a Darren Moore side. November next, Sunday Christmas. Things have got to improve for him. And he's got to help himself to that end. I, I want him to succeed. I want him to probably succeed. I, I always want managers or nice people to succeed. And all that doesn't transfer itself in life. Quite often, shit are the most successful people that you meet in life. But it doesn't stop me wanting nice people to do well. And he just seemed like a nice bloke. And I really still want him to do well. I want him to wake up one morning and go, do you know what? Look here. I'm going to go out and we're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep it basic. We're going to do the, the simple things of the game very well. And we're going to get some results. And I argue with myself. And I say to myself, we're on three points outside playoffs. We're up there in ninth place, is it? That, that cannot last. With this level of performance, that will drift away. Other things that we've talked about this season are not going to vanish. When we go away to, so I'm going to say, some smaller clubs, that is going to be a very hard game for us because that is going to be one of their biggest games of the season. They will get that extra 20%. It might upset some clubs to hear that, but I'm not really bothered. That's a fact. Players on the pitch, I'm not worried about the fans, but the players on the pitch, who players at their grounds, will lift their game. It's a psychological thing. It will happen. If we're not clicked, if we're not in gear, if, if we haven't gelled the magic word, this season's going to be very long very quickly unless he can put a stamp on that team and get them play. And as much as I try and put a positive spin on it, I'm starting to have doubts that that's going to happen. Because so far, the answer is, every time there's a little bit that goes wrong... Chuck the runs up in the air and just see where they land again. I can't see a consistency of selection. I can't see a consistency of formation. I can't even see a consistency of style of play. Yes, you've got to adapt game to game. To game. I get that. Adapt within a game. If you've got a good, solid game plan, your players are playing well, go out and start that way. If it's not going your way, yes, then adapt. Let's not adapt before kickoff every single week because we're playing Lincoln, we're playing Oxford, we're playing Wimbledon, playing Cheltenham. Let's go out with our own identity. Let's try and push onto teams. Let's try and attack. Let's try and get the best out of our players. Let's let the opposition worry about what we can do. And if it's not working, then adapt within the game to stifle them. I really want him to succeed. Do I want him to get sacked? No, I don't. Christ, who would you get? That's a whole another bag of worms. Maybe we'll do another video on that should uh, should it happen. I just want him to do the basics well and stop faffing about 